Gabriella Morrison here with another Tiny House Minute. And we're here today to talk about a very exciting topic, composting toilets. If you're wondering about toilet solutions in tiny houses, unless you have an extra septic tank just lying around that you can plug a flush toilet into in a tiny house, you're going to be looking at composting toilet options. We've gone through two different ones before and this is our third and hopefully final one. We love it. It's called the separate. The model is the Villa. It's made in Sweden. The size is great, compact, kind of a normal toilet size. It works very simply. Just open up the lid like you would in any other toilet. And in the front is the urine diversion portion of it. Just sit on it like you would any other toilet. As soon as you put pressure on it, this nice blue covering flap magically opens up. The thing that's nice about that is that if you're squeamish about looking down at these things, you'll never have to look at it. It only opens up when somebody's actually sitting on it. So take care of your business like you normally would. Toilet paper goes down there, you stand up and the flap closes back up again. Um, you don't have to contort your body and sit in all sorts of weird positions um, to get things to the places that they need to go. Um, and then when you when it's full for the three of us in about three weeks or so, it fills up. You just open this up. These nice yellow tabs automatically fall into place and hold the unit up. Um, inside you've got the contents. These composting bags easily remove, tie it up, and dispose of it. Several of the things that we love about the separate is that there is no tumbling action required. You don't have to turn any crank levers, you don't have to add any bulking agents or any enzymes or sprays or anything. You literally just do what you need to do, put toilet paper in there, and that is it. Also, there's absolutely no odor to it whatsoever. It is a urine diversion system. The urine diversion tube goes straight out. Urine is a sterile uh, liquid, and so you can use a catchment system down below, like even as simple as a, a gas can, and dispose of it, or you can just let it run out and uh, dilute it with water as needed. There is a fan that's built in to the unit. It's got a two-speed switch. We just keep it on low, and that's plenty to keep it going. It does require electricity, but we're totally off-grid here at home, and it has not been a problem with the power draw at all. Just a simple little vent stack goes straight outside. Um, right on the other side of this wall is a simple louvered uh, cap, metal cap. And uh, the only downside that we see to it is the cost. It is pretty expensive. We hear they last for a very long time, so we feel that it's a worthwhile investment. So if you're still searching for a solution for a composting toilet in a tiny house, I really recommend you check out the separate.